No, right, guys. How's it going? Mario here. Guys, um, here is the follow-up video. I'm going to give you guys a little more lighting here because this thing sucks sometimes. Um, anyways, um, as you guys can see, I put the, um, the case ejector system on there. Uh, it's basically this uh, adding this arm here that you see right here and um, to the ultra mount. So that took me about maybe 10, 15 minutes. And then uh, putting the bins together and the little ramp that it goes in. I apologize, put in some spotlight on it just so I make sure I have enough light. <clears throat> For some reason, my my garage has horrible lighting. So just want to um, be able for you guys to see what I'm, what I'm looking at. Um, so basically, guys, <clears throat> what we are seeing here, <clears throat> as you guys can see, <clears throat> I already tested this thing out. And um seems to me like it's working pretty well. Um, so I just wanted to do a couple rounds with you guys as I'm trying to uh, put my light on my head here. And um, I got some brass here, um, pretty clean grass, uh, brass. And uh, we're gonna do a couple of them together. If you guys don't mind, put my little bullet here. So we're gonna go ahead and put some primers on there. All right. Put some powder charge on there. Now we're gonna put the bullet, seat it on there. <clears throat> As it gets to the fourth one, as I bring it down, pushes it <clears throat> into the bin. So I really like this uh, this system <clears throat> because in reality, it's just gonna make life easier. All right, let's do another one here. Put a primer on there. Okay. Powder charge it. So I'm going to go ahead and put another 124 grain bullet from Acme. <clears throat> and of course on the fourth one. And it goes right into the bin right there, guys. So that's basically it guys it's all set up um it took me like i tell you about 30 minutes to set this up um it comes with a nice little instruction manual um so it's very simple to to place on there uh like i was telling you guys uh it cost me 65 bucks uh, to purchase it but what i do like about it is that the uh it's got really thick metal on there so this is definitely something that's going to last me a long long time guys uh let me take the stupid light off okay so <clears throat> anyways guys um, if you guys are interested in, in, in uh, making your Ultramount even better than what it currently is, uh, this will be a definitely good accessory to go with. Um, for me, this is just going to make uh, uh, reloading a little faster and easier and um, more enjoyable, which is that's, that's the whole point of, of doing this thing, is uh, making reloading more enjoyable. And uh, I, I think this is definitely the way to go. So, um, so this is pretty much my, uh, review on the, uh, case ejector system, uh, or kit for the inline fabrications, um, for the Lee Classic Press. Now, just keep in mind, they also make them for single stage presses. Uh, you guys just have to go and check out their website. Uh, by the way, there's their info, if you guys are ever interested. And also like them on Facebook. They, they seem to have a lot of good, uh, information. That could definitely help those uh, upcoming reloaders and all that good stuff, guys. So um, this is pretty much it, guys. Uh, MSRP was 65 bucks, And also another thing that I really like about inline fabrication, uh, anything over $60 uh, dollars that you spend on their website is free shipping. So that's the way to go, guys. Um, so this is pretty much my review on the uh, um, inline fabrication case ejector system all right guys that's all i got thank you guys for watching like always god bless you god bless the united states of america and i'm out